Oh no, your account has been permanently deleted. <laughs> no, no. Not permanently. Now, before you judge the heck out of me, I get these emails a lot. And they are almost always legit. I have gotten some of my bigger sponsorships this way. Like, some of the biggest sponsorships I've had start off like this. Okay, so let me read it to you. It says, Hi, I'm the general manager of Grass Valley, the key global media company. We want to cooperate with you. We collaborate with 90% of the world's major media brands to power their blah, 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 blah. One of our latest achievements is a new version of EDS. Okay, we are currently recruiting YouTube channels for the promotion. We would like to promote EDS software in your YouTube videos. Straightforward. We have already agreed with several YouTubers. We only need one or two more channels. So if you are ready to advertise our product right now, take care, Grass Valley Company. I was like, ah, okay, Margaret Baker is sort of a very average name, isn't it? But I'm not going to be rude. It's probably a real person. So I replied, I was like, okay, what's your going rate? So Jennifer Clark messages me. This was the second red flag, to be fair. Uh, a different email. But I was like, it's late and I need work and I'm tired and I'm just going to like sort of scan through this. And she's like, hello, thanks for the reply. Let me tell you briefly what, you, what we want. So this is where they tell me what work I have to do. So you must promote the video positively that's that's a little bit weird people don't normally say you have to be positive but anyway they seem to really care about the product so i was like okay it's probably not a scammer because they're actually telling me exactly what to do in this video you can indicate that the insert is advertising but in a positive and supportive tone there may be no other ads in your videos. You can turn off the monetization of a specific video in YouTube settings. Like, this is so specific. This is like people actually want me to promote their product. At the end of this email, you'll find a link to download the finished script and the EDS software. Do not send these documents to anyone as they are confidential on the property of Grass Valley. We are ready to listen to your ideas and suggestions for our videos that differs from our script. We also pay you 10% for each item purchased. So it says this video sh should contain the overview of the program, interaction with it, general recommendation. Now here is where things went bad. Link to download promotional materials. After, after reviewing it, reply to the email if you are satisfied with our conditions and name a price for this type of advertising. Again, this is all pretty on point. Like I receive emails like this regularly anyway like like literally let, let me show you an, an example of an email i received just the other day um where is it and i'm i'm assuming this is a very real one just so you know <laughs> look at this this is a real email i received Hi Tia, nice to meet you. My name is Amy. I'm reaching out because I came across your videos. Blah, 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 blah. We are interested in sponsoring Link. This is the game they want me to sponsor. Puppet Masters. I click on the link. It takes me to the website. I check out their game. If I like it, I'm like, yeah, I'll sponsor this. And that's what I did. And I now have a sponsored video coming out working with this brand and I'm excited, but I have to click on it. Otherwise I won't know what it's like anyway. So this is what a normal thing looks like. But anyway, back to what happened. I click on the link. It takes me to this website. It looks really good. Well designed. I'm not going to click on it again, but it's so well designed and it says download script, download software. And I'm like, okay, I downloaded it. It came up on my PC and I unzipped it and installed it. And after I installed it, nothing happened. I'm like, oh no. So I did it again and nothing happened. And I was like, oh no. So I quickly deleted it and I thought nothing of it. I was gonna log on to my YouTube channel to check how the videos are doing. And it said I was logged out. I'm like, okay. 
sometimes I get logged out, I guess. Sometimes. So I try to log in and it says wrong password. I'm like, hmm, okay. Sometimes I, I use the wrong password when I'm in a hurry. I do it again, it says wrong password again. I'm like, hmm, okay, this is getting suspicious. So I go onto my history to see what happened. And it says I changed my password two hours ago. That's where like the red flags went off because I definitely didn't change my password. I'm like, okay, this is not good. So I go through my security history and it says you were logged out of your device. Your password was changed. You changed your two-factor authentication details to this random person's number, this random person's email. I'm like, oh no. I go onto YouTube. It says YouTube channel has been deleted for violating YouTube's terms and conditions. I go back. I see I just got an email where YouTube's like, Soz, your YouTube channel is banned because you were doing naughty things. And okay, so, so I was panicking. I was more afraid that I had Gmail because that's where I have all my personal information. It's like every every person who matters, I email on that email because it's the real email. Every business, CDPR. Um, what else? I sent my book to my, um, to random people to read this last week. My book is out there. It's yeah. So I. So I'll show you now what I did in order to fix it and how they managed to hack through my two-factor authentication, by the way, which I didn't think was even possible. So I went on to my two-factor authentication and this random person's email is now inserted as my recovery email and this random person's cell phone number is now my recovery cell phone number. They're not supposed to be able to do this. So they replaced even my recovery information with their information. By the way, if you really want to send nice messages to this person, you have their details. I'm sure they'll appreciate everything you send. Um, just be nice. But uh, yeah, so essentially I panic. I'm like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. What are they going to do next? And I downloaded... Uh, like a firewall and all that jazz yeah be nice please don't spam them with Hello. 50 messages okay don't do that just 49 hey silent malver thank you for the sub i appreciate it and um what, what did i do next yeah so i downloaded the these like protection stuff for my pc went through everything and it found 27 spyware which is insane. I've never been through this. Like actual spyware was downloaded onto my PC. So they could probably see everything I was doing. And get access to my stuff. And they also had hacker stuff on there as well. So I deleted that immediately. Got them off my PC. Isolated my Gmail account by telling Gmail I did not make these changes. Please. Please stop. So Gmail kicked his device off 